What is up, guys? Dylan back here. Um, Tennessee beat South Carolina 45-20. They, uh, Tennessee, um, got off to a 28-28 to nothing lead to end the first quarter. Hang on a minute. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I got a text. Okay. All right. Tennessee had a 28 0 lead at the end of the first quarter. Um, and then at halftime, went out 38 7. But then the second quarter, not second quarter, but uh, it was not a great second half, especially the third quarter. Second half, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee got conservative, and they were playing not to lose. And because of that, South Carolina had a bit of a comeback going. Um, let's see, in the fourth quarter, South Carolina cut cut the lead to thirty-eight to twenty, and so. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I was I was getting nervous. I was getting nervous because because I've I, I've seen my teams because these last few years I've seen my teams blow a lot of leads. Yeah, right now I got the Georgia I got the Georgia Auburn game going on now. Uh, yeah, and then um now now um I'm just I'm just to leave here in about thirty minutes and, when, and so when I get back. When I get back, I'll watch game two with the Braves and Brewers. Hopefully, the Braves can bounce back and get a and get a win tonight. Um, but yeah, um, Hinton Hooker he had a good game. Tyon Evans looked looked good. Now uh, he did. Tyon Evans did get banged up on one play in the third quarter, and after that, I think Josh Heifel made the right decision to leave him out the rest of the game. We're gonna need him next week. Um, now, I now yes, the second half was frustrating when when South Carolina was making that little comeback. I was getting frustrated with Tennessee. I was getting frustrated with the defense, with the offense. But 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 I also have to give South Carolina credit. South Carolina did not quit. They they did not quit. They were making it. They were trying to make a game of it. Um, um, the, uh, um, uh, now I do think going forward, Tennessee, to, to me, the most frustrating part to me about the second half was the fact Tennessee took their foot off the gas and almost let South Carolina back into it. To, to me, that, that was the frustrating part to me. And so, um, and so, but thankfully, but thankfully, but thankfully, in the fourth quarter, Tennessee still up by 18, got a big stop, got a big stop on defense, and scored a touchdown late in the fourth quarter to put the game away, and then win at 45 20. So now, next week, is a, now next week's a big game for Tennessee. Next week at home, Tennessee has Ole Miss. And let me tell you, I think I think that game's gonna be a shootout. I mean, I mean, I think that game is gonna be an absolute shootout. I mean, it's gonna be, there, there's gonna be a bunch of points scored. You're not gonna see much defense in this game. Hang on. Yeah, um, th there's gonna be a whole bunch of points scored in this game. And so we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully Tennessee has a good week of practice and has a good game plan. But I do think next week Tennessee is going to need some big plays on offense. As I like I said, I think it's going to be a shootout. It is going to be a shootout. Um, hopefully, hopefully Tennessee can get some banged up guys back next week. We are going to need them. Because I mean now, 
Ole Miss isn't very good on defense, but their offense is. But their offense can put up points. Can their offense can put up a bunch of points? I mean, a bunch of points. And so we'll see what happens. In fact, in fact, these next few weeks ain't, ain't, ain't gonna be easy for Tennessee. Like said, Tennessee's got Ole Miss next week. Then they got Alabama. And then after Alabama, they got a bye week, and then they play a really tough Kentucky team. And then, and then I think they got Georgia. Then I think they got Georgia after that. So Tennessee has a tough stretch of games coming up that they've got to be ready for. They got they got to be ready for. And so we'll see what happens. But overall, I'm ha I'm happy Tennessee got got the win. They're four and two. And like I said, the second half was not pretty. It was frustrating at times, but but at the end of the day, Tennessee held on to win. Tennessee held on to win, and they're four and two. And, they're, and Tennessee just needs two more wins to get bowl eligible. If Tennessee can can win at least six games. If Tennessee can win at least six games and get bowl eligible. I think that I think that would be a good season for, for Tennessee, considering how things have, have gone for Tennessee. So we'll see what happens. So we'll see what happens going, going forward. Anyway, guys, I didn't want to make this video real long. I just wanted to make a make a quick post game video. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, the Falcons can, the Falcons got the Jets in London tomorrow morning, and so. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, and hopefully the Falcons can, can get a win, and hopefully I'll be happy. Although, I, although now that I think about it, uh, I might be back later tonight. Um, I might now I might be back later tonight if the Braves win. In fact, I ha, in fact if the game's close or if the Braves are leading, I might do another reaction to the ninth inning. Uh, here late here later today for game two. So keep an eye out for that if I decide to do it. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a good day. Like I said, I might be back later today, and so if I do, keep an eye out for that. So see. Anyway, guys, I'll either be back later today or tomorrow. So have a good rest of the day and God bless.